Did your favorite TikTok make the top 100? It's time to recap. Hey, it's Maya, and this is Buzz About News I Think You Can Use. 2019 is almost done, but TikTok keeps ticking. It's been a big year for the app, and a lot of us are getting on it to be creative and have fun. Now, it also has challenges with music copyright, privacy, and censorship all being concerns. We'll look at all that stuff in the new year. But for today, let's talk about their top 100 videos. Here's just a few from the list. This crazy science experiment for elephant toothpaste. The ridiculousness of the microwave challenge. And so much dancing. But my personal favorite, this adorable ferret. You had a big 2019 TikTok. Let's see what new viral videos and dancing animals you bring to us next year. The internet lost it last week when this banana duct taped to a wall sold for $120,000 at an art fair in Miami. How is this art? It's called Comedian, and it drew such huge crowds that the fair was going to remove it early. That is, until a performance artist just walked up and ate the banana. But there wasn't any drama, because the banana was meant to be replaced when necessary. Apparently, it was the concept that was sold, not the actual banana. But how is this even a concept? The couple that bought it says it's an iconic work of art, and they plan to loan it to a museum for everyone to see. One thing's for sure, there have been some meme masterpieces because of this. Popeyes is asking you to not eat the art. This guy did it to himself. And this has got to be worth at least a couple thousand. <laughs> the 2019 Time Magazine Person of the Year is Greta Thunberg. What hasn't she won this year? Greta is the face of the youth movement on climate change, inspiring young and old around the world. In this crisis, we will not be bystanders. Time has been picking a person of the year since 1927, and Greta is the youngest to ever be named. She beat out people like Donald Trump and Nancy Pelosi, and this is the third year in a row Time didn't select a world leader. Go, girl! Yeah! Now, the magazine is trying to keep their 92-year-old tradition current. The athlete of the year is the US women's soccer team, and entertainer of the year went to Lizzo. Unfortunately, there was no category for CBC Recap Host of the Year. Aww. And hey, if you want to see more young people changing the game, we've got an article on the youngest world leader in history. What time is it? It's tea time with Sean. Hello. Sean, this is the perfect week for you to be here because YouTube Rewind 2019 just came out. Listen. I have some major opinions about it. This is an annual tradition that started in 2010. Back in the day, they were simple top 10 countdown videos. But by 2016, the production quality was hashtag booming. Mm -hmm. It was my favorite year because it featured the pen pine apple apple pen trend. Pen pine apple apple oh, pen. Oh no. Well, I mostly remember 2017 because of the fidget spinner and Logan Paul. I used to be a huge Logan Paul super fan. Sorry, what? Who? Back to YouTube Rewind. Everything changed last year. The 2018 Rewind video is the most disliked video of all time on YouTube. It has 17 million thumbs down. The most common complaint was that it was just out of touch. It was like watching an overly produced, but somehow still mediocre sketch. And that cameo by Will Smith, who thought that was a good idea? Yeah. PewDiePie and Shane Dawson weren't even included. So the team decided to start this year's video with an apology. But this I was expecting something epic to make up for last year. Rather than involving creators and make something creative, they just use old footage. The community felt like it was a Watch Mojo video, and I could not agree more. So lazy. 
It did feel a bit safe, but I have to admit, I loved the way it was edited and how they made everything flow together. It was also a lot more inclusive. Sure, it took skills, but what about all the big scandals? Tati versus James? PewDiePie versus T-Series? Those were huge moments this year. And what about all the trends too? Burt Box, Area 51, and the bottle cap challenge? Shout out to Mariah Carey. Can they bounce back? I'm not sure that they can. Right now, the audience dictates content. Look at what happened with Sonic and Sony. Maybe YouTube needs to hire trending creators to make rewinds. Because they know what we want. Maybe YouTube can get some points back after the streamies tonight. Mm-hmm. David Dobrik has 11 nominations. But did you know that it's not all based on fan voting? There's an actual streamies academy, just like the Oscars. Really? I did not know that. Well, fans can nominate and vote in certain categories, but the majority of stuff is decided by the Academy. Well, let's pretend to be the Academy and make some predictions. Yes. Who do we think should win the Creator of the Year? In three, two, one. Emma David Chamberlain. Dobrik. What? How about Beauty Creator? In three, two, one. James Jeffree Charles. Star. No. No, honey, no. How about the best documentary? In three, two, one. The, the Secret, secret world, world of Jeffree Star? Yes! And now, this week in things our parents do that we don't. A lawmaker in New Jersey wants to make cursive handwriting in school mandatory. Look, I was taught cursive for one week in grade four, and that's it. I do kind of wish I was better at it. I mean, my signature is nasty. But with almost everything being digital now, we need handwriting less and less. Some schools still teach cursive, but others have completely dropped it. So even though writing cursive feels old, research shows it could help us spell better, make signatures harder to forge, and even help us learn more while taking notes. Should we keep learning cursive so we can get better at it? Or should we just text in cursive? Huh. Well, that's it for this week's recap. I had fun, and I hope you did too. Be sure to come back next week. Same time, same place. <laughs>